it is cold. Uh, I bumped into the uh, Viva Junior Journo winners, Gracie and Mason, before today. They've had a great weekend of it, uh, enjoying the life of a journalist and, and a few extra uh, perks, must be said. Uh, and I um, did kind of say I hope that they wouldn't experience a goalless uh, draw because they were writing a match report on today. So sadly, I'll put the kiss of death on that one for them. Uh, Norwich City drawing nil-nil here against uh, a Bolton Wanderers side who uh, who dug in, who knew that they had stuff to prove and things that they... Um, needed to prove on the road because they had a really sticky time of it this year one of the worst uh, away records in the country and in the first half they were fairly abysmal they were extre extremely defensive Norwich got all the room to pose all the questions they wanted they were lively, creative, they moved the ball really well um, looked really dangerous, had some wonderful chances and really should have been at least a couple of goals up come the interval Morris Leitner may be prime suspect in terms of being played through and somehow slotting his shot uh, beyond the far post the expression of Harrison Reed and James Madison as they turned round flabbergasted at what they'd just seen a quality player not being able to take a really guilt-edged chance and I guess what we uh, what the worry was then come the second half was would Norwich be able to recreate it and a they couldn't they couldn't move the ball around well enough uh, they got pretty stodgy uh, but likewise, Bolton changed their shape. They drew an extra man into midfield. Amiobi was sort of sat in and tucked in a little bit wide. Later on, they moved to four at the back and actually started posing a few more problems. And, and generally, they Phil Parkinson did a good job of working around the game. And as has been an issue with, with Norwich at home under Daniel Farker, they didn't quite find enough solutions to, to mix it up and to, to, to cause the opposition continuing problems. It just got a bit stuck and that in turn caused issues. So in the end, the game kind of petered out. Uh, at the point, I spoke to Harrison Reed. his shot ended up being blocked by Mara Sleitner in, in the second half. And at that point you think, okay, this probably isn't gonna happen for them. So just one of several incidences really that kind of underlined the fact that Norwich were, were struggling. And um, I guess in, in my mind, and I'm sure a lot of people's minds, that those who maybe thought that Norwich could put a late run in to get near the top six, no doubt results like this uh, quite happily put an end to that because uh, after a run of three draws and, and two coming in such late circumstances and with such a buoyant feeling around them uh, this was quite the opposite uh, and the game actually finished off with a flourish uh, but just not the same sort of flourish we had Daniel Farker stepping onto the pitch and kicking the ball away uh, to which he got sent off uh, which was I think probably the first time in his career uh, it remains to be seen whether there will be some sort of uh, uh, issue in terms of hello gents hello uh, do you want to say your names? Great result. Uh, hi, I'm Ben. Uh, ben. I'm Mark. Great result. Brilliant result. It was, well, it was average. It was, it, you're excited <laughs> it was about being average. on the video? <laughs> I'm quite. It I'm was a great excited. result. It was a good first half. It was, um, it was a better first half than the second half. Yeah, it was. It was. It was uh, Norwich fan, Bolton fan. Oh, okay. Well, you should be ecstatic. It was a good result, yeah. They were pretty awful in the first half, but they dug awful in. Awful first half, but we dug in. Good result. Good defensive display. I'm happy with it. I'm very happy. You, uh, the opposite? I don't know. I just feel a little bit disappointed. But, you know, that's life. <laughs> it is life. It is life. Well, well done, boys. Thanks for joining me. Good Take stuff. Care. Have a great evening. Bye -bye. Um, yeah, so effectively, a, a draw like this, in such buoyant circumstances beforehand, it kind of puts the uh, the death nail, as far as I'm concerned, in, in any hopes Norwich might gate crash the top six. Um, and, of course, a lot of you will be shouting at me at that point, going, well, don't be stupid. Of course, we weren't going to finish in the top six. But it was as it was, and such is life, uh, I think. The question, of course, and the big issue is that we can all sit here going on about how Norwich are rebuilding and, and working in the right direction. The problem comes with what the changes are in terms of who is here next season and who they have to build around. Because, once again, you know, James Madison has, has an impact today. But, you know, that side without James Madison in it... Uh, doesn't look anywhere near the same side. Uh, good to talk to Harrison Reed after the game today uh, and actually a real change in tact. I, I didn't expect it but asked the question of course and quite clearly he's going to sit down with his agent. Um, he wants to see what his options are at the end of this loan spell uh, and he doesn't want to go back to Southampton if he's going to be stuck on the sidelines and not playing football. So he wants to play football. Um, he had a little glint in his eye when the suggestion would you come back here whichever form. So you never know. I think he'd want that. Um, we'll have to see but you know that's that's encouraging of course and Harrison did well at, at right back today he's, he's versatile and he's a he's a good player uh, I, I like him he's combative and, and he he's got a really good head on his shoulders so with no particular issue with that uh, necessarily if, if it happened but whether Norwich could pull it off would be a, a, a very different question Nelson Oliveira I thought was excellent today he didn't really um, 
get on the end of too many chances uh, but his build-up play actually meant that he did have a profound effect in, in making other chances for other people uh, certainly in the first half so no issue with uh, with Nelson's performance for it. he was excellent Christoph Zimmerman outstanding at the back given Norwich a switch to a back four uh, no issue there as well I thought the back back uh, uh, the back pairing of him and Grant Hanley was was very secure again but um, we got to see Wes Houlihan struggled really to adjust to the pace of the game but he hasn't played for a little while Josh Murphy on his birthday really uh, couldn't um, force the issue in a lot of situations and some of his decision making just didn't really happen for him and, and that's been a kind of recurring theme and uh, yeah, just generally I think huge disappointment because Norwich's forget about the overall themes Norwich's actual home form had been improving but this kind of feels like again when Norwich come up against a team who can afford to concentrate on how to stop Norwich as opposed to having an opinion of themselves that mean they can just uh, do what they want when a team wants to think about how to tackle Norwich generally they find a way of stopping them and that is something that this season next season Norwich are going to have to be far better at especially here at Carrow Road.